Well, folks, the coronavirus is here in the United States and it's knocking on your front door. And if you're wondering what I'm doing to keep my family safe, your temperature will be checked. Better check yourself. And last week, the spy halted two times on two separate days. This is a crazy world that we're living in right now. Not to mention there was no traders today at the at the New York Stock Exchange today. It was ran by computers. We got into three swing trades this week. As of right now, one's looking pretty good and the other ones are looking a little bit shady, but uh, we're gonna have to keep our eye on them. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you don't wanna subscribe, that's fine. Just hit that like button down below if you wanna. Let's get right into these swing trades. First swing trade here that is going to be JNUG, J N U G is a ticker symbol. This is a gold ETF, and I got in this at $3.96. And I'll zoom in here and show you where I got in and what I was thinking when I got in. So on Sunday, I was planning on watching this stock, anyways, and I just wanted to see a good entry point to get in this stock. And as I was watching it, I saw it start making higher highs and lower lows. And I started to like this little setup right here when it was bouncing bouncing and then just coming up and kept just kept on bouncing off of this trend line that i put in so my goal is to play this third bounce off of this trend line i just missed it a little bit but i got in at three dollars and 96 cents so right before market closed today it kind of had a little bit of a sell-off i think people were worried about what it might do tomorrow with a market just being crazy as it is a lot of people don't want to hold a position this is why i have to be very cautious doing these swing trades right now because you don't holding a stock overnight you don't really know what the market is going to do so it makes things a lot harder than it normally is and plus i've never traded in a bear market before but we're looking at the bigger picture on jnug and you can see it had a high here of 107 dollars. and then when the market started crashing this thing came right down with it and normally you would say that gold would be a safe haven when the market is crashing but with this kind of situation with the virus like i said it's new to everybody nothing was a safe haven if the government can ever get the coronavirus stimulus bill passed this thing could see a pretty good run on it so with jnug i'm just gonna play this one by ear i don't really have a selling point as of yet i'm just waiting to see what happens and with this coronavirus going on and everything and you have to stay at home you have to try to find things to do so my option right now is gonna be lawn work and option two mowing the lawn i guess picking up diarrhea too all right, next swing trade I got in here is APT. And I've I've liked this stock and I, I truly think that this stock could run very good again, just like it did right here. And I'm saying that because they make masks and right now we're low on masks. We don't have a lot of masks in supply. So this big pump right here, this is when I heard it coming off on the scanners. They put out some news saying that they're gonna be making a lot of supply for the, I think it's the M3 or whatever it is, mass that's meant for, for hospitals and doctors and such. And this was just a huge pump. Look, it just started running up here. And I didn't catch FOMO. I said, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait when this thing pulls back. And it kept on pulling back, pulling back, and I was like, you know, a good number to get in would be right around the $11 mark. So I put in an order to buy at $11. Nothing big. It was a very small one. I said, if it keeps on dropping, I'm going to go ahead and put another order in, which it did. It kept dropping again, and I put another order in. And then I said, if it keeps dropping more, I'm going to go ahead and put another order in. And my last order I put in was at $10.40. And the reason why I was doing this, this is really good news. At least I think it is. But what is going on? Why the stock kept on dropping here is I believe that a lot of people were, were probably holding for a while, and they wanted to get out of this stock. So what when the stock ran up, it probably hit a lot of sell limits and just people wanting to get out of this stock. Not to mention, I'm sure there was a lot of shorts that get on this stock as well, which is kind of a good thing because we might see a squeeze on this tomorrow. So my next trade that I got on here was AYTU. And this was on the scanners in the morning. I believe it was up something like 30%. I can't really remember. But this is one of the plays that I had been liking when a stock goes up and then it comes back down and then it comes up again and then it comes back down. And, and I have a trend line drawn here and you can see it just keeps on bouncing off of that. And this trend line helps me find pretty much a good entry point to get in the stock. And this is where I made my entry right on this third tap right here, this third tap of the trend line. But the news on this stock, they basically are making a test kit so you can test yourself for the coronavirus is what I get out of it. And they're about to ship those out. So that's why this stock is running up right now. That's the reason why I got in it. And also the uh, trend of it going up is the reason why I got into this swing trade. So those are the three swing trades that I'm in right now. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video let's make some coronavirus money and don't forget to wash your hands stay safe out there everybody